the appliances in the Benamar Tesoro T481. We firstly have the extractor fan. This switch here just controls the light and the other switch controls the extraction. With these particular models they do extract fully to the outside. We then have two burner gas ring and one electric hot plate. The gas rings are turned on and off on the two knobs just here. So I will now turn them off. To ignite them, just push in, twist, and press the igniter. The oven and the grill are operated here. I currently have the grill on. So if I now turn to off, push in, twist to the left, I can now light the oven. We also have the microwave that again will work when we're hooked up to the main supply. It's nice and easy to use. Time duration just here. And then power setting here. So low, defrost, medium low, medium, medium high, high, grill, and then your combinations and then pull to open. Do make sure that the plate is removed for travel. Directly underneath the microwave, we then have the Fetford automatic fridge freezer. To turn the unit on, come to this little button here, hold it in, and the unit will fire up. If we are on the automatic setting, which we are at the moment, as you can see we've got the little picture of the A, it will automatically find the best power source it can for you. So because we're hooked up to main supply, it's put us on to mains just here. You will see that the screen goes off after a few seconds, so it's not annoying you at night time. Just literally tap the button and it will re-illuminate. If I now went outside and unplugged us from the main supply, the unit would then automatically attempt to fire itself up onto gas and as soon as we start the engine it will then automatically switch over to 12 volt maintain. I can take it out of auto just by pressing this button here so that's manually on mains, manually on 12 volt maintain. The reason it's now flashing and we're getting a red light is because we do not have the engine running at the moment so an error code 6 is just letting us know that we do not have a 12 volt feed. If I now press again we then have gas. Automatically ignites itself and same again if it fails to light it will flash to let you know that it's failed. Um, if you know that you've got gas and it may just be due to the fact of a bit of air in the system just literally turn the unit off and turn it back on again and it will try again. But to be fair automatic is the easiest setting to have it on. Next we have temperature control, just here. So the more white squares, the colder the unit is. And then lastly, we have the anti-condensation button. You only find anti-condensation jackets on these large fridge freezer units. They basically have a tendency of sweating in hot climate. So to avoid a buildup of condensation on the back of the unit, just make sure that it's on when the temperature is warm outside. It's currently on. It's now off when it's like that. And then we have a nice large fridge. Because of its size you will see that there is a travel catch just down the bottom. So if you do have a lot of produce in there, close the door and then pull it across. And then your nice large freezer box just there. 
both the freezer doors and fridge doors have these little venting arms that just come out so when you're not using it you can then hold the doors on a jar we also have an omnivent fan this fan can be used for extraction or for cooling to use it literally wind the roof vent up on this just here so just keep winding it until it opens and then come to the buttons just here and then the middle button turns the unit on and then you'll see we've got arrows out for extraction and arrows in for cooling and you just keep pressing the button for variable fan speed do make sure that the roof vent is back down for travel <laughs>